join me for three holes at the Pasha course at Altalia Golf Club in Turkey. Let me talk you through what I think I should be doing, how I would play this par three, par five, and par four, and watch, dare I say, a rather average PJ professional play this golf course. So, this is the seventh hole. Uh, one yards to the middle of the green which to be honest if most golfers just play to the middle or the back of the green I promise you your scores will improve worrying about where the flag is is just not quite the uh, the uh, the strategy because obviously we get sucker pins and we get it tucked around and let's be honest we're not always gonna strike out of the middle so let's just play our percentages and play sort of middle to back now I can see that that flag is probably more middle to back so even though I've got 132, I should probably play the distance at like 135. And it's quite windy here today. We're back downwind. So that's gonna take a little bit of yardage off. So I'm thinking, right, it's probably like a 135 shot with a bit of wind and probably windier up there because I'm surrounded by trees. I'm probably gonna play like 125. And I know that I've played this course before, that probably over the back is not the play. So I'm gonna play like a one, two, five. I'm gonna hit a wedge. Right, full wedge. So my pre-shot routine, couple of practice, swings, do a little bit of a feel I'm uh, trying to work on. I, like most golfers, struggle with a bit of early extension. Uh, stand behind the golf ball, visualize a good shot, and then I'm gonna step into the shot, not think about my swing technique, and just react to what I'm trying to achieve. because I'm gonna be honest, that was potentially freaking good. I think it's short, and let's be honest, you know, if I filmed the first little vlog, little walker, play a little course of me, and I get in the hole, then that'd be freaking amazing. However, just so <laughs> there's no, uh, there's no fake calls, I'm just gonna keep recording. So uh, bear with me, but oh, it is a beautiful morning. If you have never been to Turkey, you need to add it to your bucket list because it's incredible. There are 16 golf courses basically next to each other and there isn't really a bad golf course. I've not played them all, I'll be honest, but I've played a good half of them now. Um, oh, it's a little short, but it is a good shot though. I actually got a little birdie pup, so club selection wise was pretty on it. Uh, definitely quite windy my wedge doesn't normally go 130 yards just gonna put it out there and uh oh it's golden hour now youtube channel is a fairly newest thing for me if you are still watching four minutes into this video uh hey i appreciate you and um if you could maybe subscribe and like it i would massively uh appreciate it to be honest but yeah it's a touch short but it was you know it was worth just in case it's just worth holding on to you just in case well, I have also decided that filming content, pulling a trolley, trying to have a coffee, uh, just, I need more hands or more people to be fair. So uh, we'll uh, just put you here, grab a putter, and then let's, uh, let's talk putting. So you'll see where it is. It is actually, oh, it's always the way. It looks so good as well. We will just uh, six foot, six foot short. Wasn't that good after all, was it really? <laughs> it was very much online. Right, one, two, three. I pace my putts, but that helps me with distance control. If you need help with distance control, 
I've got a video on lag putting. It, honestly, I feel it's a really good way of giving you half a clue. Now, I read the putts like if I were to aim dead straight, is that ball going to go into the hole? Now, I can clearly see there's a bit of a slope off to the right hand side. So I'm going to aim sort of left edge of the hole. I'm looking at that thinking, right, if I aim left edge, I've got a chance. Now, I do use a line on my golf ball. I struggle with my alignment. So a line is always recommended if you struggle. If you're a good visualizer and can see the line in your mind, don't use a line. Practice stroke, I do three. I know there's a lot of talk about shouldn't use a practice stroke and I've, and I've experimented with it, but then I just struggled. And then I line up my line with my line and now I don't even have to look. I know that I'm aiming where I want it to aim. I wish golf was that easy all the time. We are one under after one in this. Let's move on to the next. Right, okay. Eighth hole at Pasha. It's a par five. It's not the longest par fives. Uh, it is 430 yards. Okay, so to be honest, that's probably just like a long par four, isn't it really? But it is generally a par five. Uh, there is water down the right hand side which is not even really going to be in play but there's a dog leg round to the left and there is a couple of bunkers now i've got a gps watch i can see about sort of 220 carry uh, to clear those bunkers and the wind is helping me is it that's going to help me so i've aimed on the right hand side of the tee box to give myself a better angle in now at the moment we seem to be playing a bit of a, a draw slash hook slash snap hook so I'm just going to be aiming for the middle of the fairway. If it draws round, fantastic. If it doesn't, then so be it. But this should give us another reasonable opportunity for a birdie if we can knock this on into. But the plan, just edge to those bunkers with a bit of draw to, uh, to clear it. And that should give us a reasonable opportunity for the next shot. cleared the bunker we're in a good shape so I suppose a good opportunity while I'm just walking down to my ball to, to really ask what do you want to see um, I know there's obviously a lot of uh, amazing YouTube channels out there and I know I'm a pretty much a, a nobody but from a coaching perspective I uh, dare I say I'm all right I sort of know what I'm talking about and Delhi have been fairly successful in the online space uh, using a coaching app called Skillis um, so if I can help you individually jump on onto the Skillis app and search for Andy Little um, but if you just want to stay here on YouTube and watch me hit around a golf course uh, let me know what we want to see you know if there's any particular shot shapes that you want me to see any certain situations that you want me to film just drop them in the comments and I'll let you know uh, you're not going to see any of this uh, well the sun is just blinding uh, but we have got about 160 yards left uh, we managed to sort of cut the corner around uh, we're in a good position. Wind is helping from the left. So we're gonna play it, we're gonna play it like a 160 club. So for me right now, we're gonna hit a solid seven into the sun and then just see what happens. Same principle, two little fields. Visualize a good shot. Go into my sort of golf bubble and then just try to think about that good shot going forward. Oh, honestly, didn't see that at all. Oh, that is a real, dare I say it, scabby second shot. I think we're gonna do all right. So it was a pretty bad strike but we sort of overestimated the shot in terms of distance. Gave myself a little bit of room for error. I'm okay, I'm probably a few paces off the green. There is nothing in between me and the green and the grass is, is pretty smooth. 
it should be a putter all day long. So we're going to pace this out like we do normally, allow for a little bit of fringe to start with and see if we can uh, roll this close and maybe make an eagle. good the second probably didn't deserve a birdie we're still one under after two that's fine let's go and play the ninth hole which is a par four right the wind is really quite ramping up but uh par four pretty much down breeze now which is handy uh from where i'm standing right now it's 440 so it's gonna be a good Is bar four um, just fairly straight? There is bunkers either side. However, this is quite a generous fairway. You could hit, actually hit it quite far right and end up on the first, and hit it quite far left and end up on the tenth. So, uh, get your eye let it fly. Just a light one, really. pretty <laughs> that was pretty bad it's so frustrating isn't it but can't do anything about it now we could have had a, a reasonable second shot i'm not even sure i can now reach the green so uh it is what it is the swing we're struggling a little bit we've struggled all season there's no two ways about it i never sort of shy away at the fact that i've been struggling and we're sort of now in a in like a a confused state which again may connect with a lot of golfers uh, sort of know what I should be doing but can't do it and then just get a bit confused try something move on to something else it's terrible like but this is if I if you were my student I'd be telling you to focus on one thing and just stick to it and there's me going trying to do all bits and pieces but because because I think I know it then uh, you think you can solve it um, I feel like as uh, winter is now approaching for us in the UK that I need to get myself an actual coach rather than trying to coach myself uh, and then uh, and then put some work in because we've uh, we've really struggled unfortunately so that's not that I always top it but struggling with path and face control uh, and when you don't really know where you're gonna hit the golf ball uh, it does make life a bit harder so uh, I've managed to get a little bit of roll out of this. I'm going to have a good, well, 250, 260 maybe. That's going to be out of range. <laughs> I've hit the fairway, if that, uh, if that helps. Terrible drive. <laughs> Literally the opposite of what I wanted. So, we're, we're a long way away.
we are, well, I'm just standing next to the camera at 2.45. So we're talking about a good 2.40 as well. Don't hit my three with 240 yards. In. Get my last shot. Maybe in the air, Andy, maybe a, a better idea. bunkerish now this is the first video that I've done uh, using a, a GoPro esque uh, device I'll be honest the quality the, the the framing whether I'm in shot couldn't tell you right now uh, but we'll post this video uh, as you are clearly watching it and uh, we'll just see but got to start somewhere haven't you really and I suppose that's with anything if you're thinking about starting something just start and you'll just get it better every time you film it or whatever you are trying to create. So uh, we'll make do. But can we get up and down for a par to be one under after three holes? Right, so we found the ringside bunker. Fairly long bunker shot. Obviously quite a bit of a lip with the hill. Uh, and obviously now, for me, bunker shot is full position like a driver weight forward and sit like I nearly feel like I sit into my left hip so I'm like feel like a chair is not quite in the middle of me but just sort of perched on the edge face open so again very classic you know open the face then grip it lower the hands to then get that club face nice and square and just speed um, if you can commit and hit the sand first as we know you could probably hit it one two three inches and if you've got enough speed you're still gonna get the ball out of the bunker four footer to finish one under for this little little vlog shall we say Even the tripod's had enough of me. Well, there we go. Very average golf. Level par after three. Could have been quite easily two under. If you're still watching, appreciate you. Speak to you soon.